In this video, we will learn about same side interior angles. Let's look at a picture. If we have two lines that are intersected by a transversal, two pairs of same side interior angles will be created. Here's one pair. These green angles are same side interior angles because they are on the same side of the transversal. They're both on the left side of the transversal. And they're also both inside the other two lines. The other pair of same side interior angles will be right here. These red angles are on the right side of the transversal and both inside the lines. There will always be two pairs of same side interior angles in this sort of situation. Same side interior angles are particularly interesting if they are surrounded by parallel lines. So if these two lines were parallel, then we would know something special about the same side interior angles. They would have to be supplementary. That means they'd have to add up to 180 degrees. It goes both ways. If two lines are parallel, then the same side interior angles will have to be supplementary. And also the other way around, if two same side interior angles are supplementary, then the lines have to be parallel. So let's write that out. Same side interior angles are supplementary. Remember what that means. It means they add up to 180 degrees if and only if lines are parallel. So this is a biconditional statement because it has sort of two parts to it. It has the if same side interior angles are supplementary, then lines are parallel. And it also means if lines are parallel, then same side interior angles are supplementary. So let's look at two examples. If same side interior angles are supplementary, that would be a situation like this. If I knew that this was 80 degrees, that angle, and this angle was 100 degrees, because 100 plus 80 is 180 degrees, it means that those two angles are supplementary. And because they're supplementary and they're same side interior angles, then I'd know that these two lines have to be parallel. And that means all the other things that go with those lines being parallel. The other way around is also true. So if you start out with two lines, and you know that they are parallel, that means if you know one angle, so for example, if you knew that this angle was 70 degrees, then you'd know that this angle, which is the same side interior angle to the 70 degrees, has to be 110 degrees, so that they add up to 180 degrees altogether. So just remember, same side interior angles exist whether or not the lines are parallel, but they're particularly interesting if the lines are parallel because that means that those angles have to be supplementary.